Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and today we're actually far away from Florida. We're actually in Cali, Colombia in the city of Rosso. Now here in Rosso is where my farm is located, where my family's farm is located. And today we're actually visiting my auntie's house and she has a very special tropical fruit tree that I know a lot of my Floridian friends and other fellow tropical fruit growers would love to see. And that tree is a sapote, also known as chupa chupa or South American sapote. Now the botanical name is Quar Ibia cordata, is I believe how you say it. Now right here we're just walking through her little uh, fruit forest and right here behind me is the is a sapote tree as you see the leaves are just huge looking and if you could tell right behind me is just loaded with all these beautiful fruits and we're gonna get a closer look at the fruits so here we have a better look at the chupa chupa tree or in Colombia we just call it sapote now I'm not sure what this is it might just be something on the leaves but here are the leaves of the sapote as you see it just has a very big beautiful tropical foliage now this is one of the main reasons I want to grow it here in Florida is just for the the foliage but look at this fruit so right here are the sapote fruits as you see they just form in clusters big clusters like this and not only do they form right here but they form all the way up the base of the tree now something really interesting about this tree too is the way it kind of branches out it almost branches out in like a kind of forms like rings as you see it branches out and then one level it just branches out again and as you see as it goes up it just keeps branching out but let's take a closer look at these fruits. Quiero ver un fruto. So as you see, the sapote forms right here, kind of off the branch, as you see, multiple are forming. And it almost looks like a nipple almost, but the fruit itself is very good. Now my auntie actually has two trees here. As you see, she has one tree right here. And then we're gonna check the other tree, which is just located right over here, very close by. And believe it or not, this tree actually has um, some fruits that are much more mature and ready to harvest. As you see, these, these fruits right here look much more mature. And I just really love how they all form and branch out just because this tree produces so much fruits per, per tree. So as you see, this fruit right here almost looks ready to harvest, but I'm not sure if it's ready to harvest yet. Um, I might ask my uncle, but when he comes back. So as you see, these fruits are just very big and there might be another some other ones forming right here. And I wanna harvest one for you so I can show you what it looks on the inside. But if not, I have multiple videos of me just eating them and opening them regardless. But I really just love this tree because it's, like I said, it's very tropical, very strong tree too, as you see. No, yo lo cosecho otro día. Mañana, en la mañana o bien tarde. Bien tarde. No, no así con el sol. Sí. Tú sabes ya. Sí, sí. Porque yo comí uno también y también esta parte como estaba abierto, no estaba como... Ah, sí, es así, sí. abren cuando están listos. Sí, cuando abren listos. Sí. sí. Ah, listo. Mañana. Sí, no. Está bien, tío. Gracias. So, my uncle said with these fruits, one way you could tell they're ready to harvest is they're actually, this line right here is very faint, but the line right here turns completely yellow where it's kind of a little uh, lightish green. So that's way, that's one way how you could tell it's ready to harvest. And also the cap will also start to pop off by itself. So that's another way you could tell the support is ready to harvest. But here's another view of just the fruits from up top. As you see, this tree is absolutely loaded. And this fruit is one that we'll harvest in a few days. Overall, really beautiful fruit tree. So overall, this tree is probably one of my most favorite tropical fruit trees as far as foliage, as far as, you know, the rareness of it, and also just the taste too. If you guys haven't tasted uh, sapote, it tastes kind of like a sweetened pumpkin pie with uh, light notes of cinnamon is how I like to describe it. But other people have say it kind of has a mangoey taste to it. But um, it tastes nothing like mame sapote. It's not to be confused with mame sapote, puteria sapota, I believe. But it is very, it is, it is very appearing like sapote. And like I said, over here in Colombia, they call it sapote. But in Florida, if you say sapote, they're going to think mame, sapote or something. So here we call it. So over there, we call it a chupa chupa, which is, uh, which means suck, suck. Kind of strange, but that's how it is. But overall, you know, like I said, this tree is one of my favorites. I just wanted to share this tree with you guys because, like I said, in Florida, this is considered an extreme tropical fruit tree. If you've ever been to Fruit and Spice Park, they actually have this tree in a greenhouse meaning that even in florida these trees are considered to be extreme tropicals and even in south florida where they get the warmest temperatures of all of florida it still needs a greenhouse to be able to 
thrive correctly and produce. But honestly, in Florida, I'm not even sure if the sapote has produced, although I have heard that it has flowered and maybe produced a couple of fruit, but I'm not sure if those fruit were palatable or what. But overall, you know, I just really love the sapote, just getting a better look up. You can just really tell how loaded this tree is. Everywhere you look, there's fruits. There's not one place you look and there's not fruits. So I just know the harvest here in a few days is when we're gonna start harvesting these. Like I said, there's one over there that we are almost ready to harvest. But in a few days, in a few months, all these sapotes, you know, they're gonna have a hard time eating them all. So it just goes to show the abundance here in Colombia, how the fruits really uh, grow to the, how they really grow in abundance. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on Sapote, Chupa Chupa, Quarabia, Cordata. I hope you really liked this video. I hope you learned something new about this extreme tropical fruit tree that I've been trying to get to Florida. Now I actually do have many seeds at my house growing and have some seedlings at my farm growing. I gave some seedlings away to some of my good farming friends. So we're gonna see if we can actually cultivate this in Florida. Like I said, in Miami, it's already growing. If you go to, if you go to the Fruit and Spice Park, you can actually find a huge tree in the back of the park, they have a huge tree in the greenhouses, but it. But when I was there, it didn't have fruit or flowers. But like I said, even the foliage is one of my favorite parts about this tree. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be uploading some more tropical fruit tree videos here in, in Colombia, just to show you how the trees look in their native environment. You know, trees that we love to grow there in Florida. I think it's important to show you guys and kind of study how they grow in their native environment. So, you know, just so we can kind of mimic those uh, environments in Florida and, you know, learn how they grow. So thank you guys. My name is Harley from Garden FL and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye now.